I have some soil, so. Yes. That's you. And That's me. <coughs> Yeah, this is the one you want. Yeah. This is the one I, yes. Yeah. Well, not the other, this, two of them. Yep. Okay. Okay, here we're looking for a delineation. Yeah, in the name. Uh, I was there and I, I uh, walked all through the area and I found no problems with the uh, uh, line. It was in some areas you, you were generous. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, you know, the land uh, does scoot up pretty much, so you're going to even stay more than that away from them. And you found out that already that the Hessian Cemetery is not on this property. Nope, it's down one. Okay. No, south, of it, south of it. South of it. Okay. Well, I just heard about that. I didn't know where it was, yeah. so I figured that I would speak up before. Yeah. If there was going to be a problem, you would solve it before it happened. Yeah. This has already been through several levels of title review for the first array. This this was included as part of it. I know exactly where that where that is. It's on the uh, Hunter's Hill settlement land. <coughs> okay. It's on that parcel. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It says it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll make a motion that we accept the wetland flag lines as as, as described. I'll second that. All in favor. Aye. Uh, Aye. Care you know, we just wanted to double check on the. Um, the access road that we had talked about last time? Nope. We no, we're not, we're not going to do that. Well, well, if we, we can do yeah. it here, that's great. Yeah. Otherwise, i got to come back for a separate analysis. I just want to analysis. see what we have to do for it. Because um, last time, you guys had said, let's wait and take care of this first before we discuss that further. Um, so I had emailed Charlie about it earlier. Um, I think it was the end of last week. And he had said that if there's going to be a temporary thing, then an RDA would be appropriate, and if it's going to be permanent, then most likely an NOI. So I just wanted to clarify with you guys where you stood on that. Um, <coughs> well, what's it going to be? It's going to be permanent. Permanent, yeah. If I'm going to build a road good enough for construction, I'll use it for permanent access to, so we don't have to go through the first subway. Okay. Now, last uh, meeting you said that you didn't want to go through the array because you did not want to... Um, have a key to mm -hmm. their property. Right. Uh, here's here's a here's a solution, and it wouldn't uh, hit upon the wetlands at all. If you were to fence in the that portion of the array, mm -hmm. I, both I sides, and then you would drive through, and then you wouldn't have access to either side. You would just drive through. And that would uh, solve the problem of you building a roadway. It would probably be even cheaper on your behalf. Just, just a thought. Okay. Well, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through the permit process. We'll wait till we know that this project's actually going to happen. We still have this Massachusetts rules aren't finalized yet, so I'm way right. ahead of my skis on this. But I want to be ready. So once we know it's going to go forward. <laughs> I'll come back in front of you for an NOI to just go around that and we'll be done forever. We're, we're way outside of the... Well, NOI is for temporary... No. Oh, no, okay, I'm sorry. We, we do yeah. permanent. Okay. And yeah. yeah. The, okay. The fire, I met the fire chief up there, too, and he... he uh, in Jen's email, you said the proposed roadway was at least 80 feet away from... Uh, from the wetland. Yeah. Yes, and it, It's least. only 20 feet inside of where the existing... Just so fancy uh, yeah. Just a very tiny. I mean, that corner. seemed to be. I wasn't here at the uh, meeting where it was uh, first discussed. Yeah. But RDA uh, would cover that. Uh, I know it certainly should have been part of the hand right here. Right. Uh, because yeah, it wasn't was the last minute. advertised. Right. And it really right. We, had nothing. we couldn't. You no. couldn't do that. It was a yeah. separate issue altogether. Right. It's up to you guys. We do. 
we could, we'll do it either way, ANRED or NOI. If you want to do it with an ANRED, oh. we can do it. Yeah, yeah, we decide. We can do that. If we do the, R, the RDA, then that would be RDA. RDA we would just be want to it. make sure we know do an RDA and then have you say we need another certain test. Well, because then there's we would just do away from the wetland. And you're yeah, sure of that. I can't see where that there. would be an issue. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. No, no, that's no. the next one. I'm getting ready. Yeah, you're getting, you're ready, you're ready for the next one. It's because I don't have the map that you're going to show us now. No, I only have that one. Okay, where where are we going to go around this one? Right. Is that the first subway? This is subway. We're going around right here, right? Yes, we're coming around right here. It's this, right this, this this corner right here. Yeah, yeah we're, we're not going to do that right now. No, I would. Okay, all right. So we'll come back with an idea. Good. Then. Okay. Thank you. We'll do it that way. Yeah. Okay. So I think you guys voted. So the hearing is closed. Then. Yes. So this one. So we get the planning board next week. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm oh, just flipping that map. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Steve, Steve reads on next. Thanks, Greg. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Greg. Great. See you. Thanks, Greg. Let, let me let me go. See if I can fix okay. that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know where the there is there. Yeah. Here we go. Notice of intent requested by the Reed Bros. Yeah. <coughs> Steve Reed. Yeah. I understand. You also went out and walked this one? Yes. I drove this one. Jim and I did. We walked it all the way through. I have some serious reservations about this for a couple of reasons. One, first of all, if it's going to be used as farmland, the roadway with maybe, except for getting it off the property, the property line would suffice. To start grading it, in some areas you're talking 10 feet wide, not 12 feet wide. On your plan you have the whole thing is, is, is 12 feet wide, but the section that's next to the river that's is right probably 10 to 11 feet wide and if you start grading it, you're going to be uh, destroying the bank of the river and going in. And I have tremendous reservation about that. When we got to the back of the property, we saw that you had several prick tests done, which gives the indication that you had said that you're going to uh, um, put a house back there sometime down the future. Yes. Town law says 20 foot driveway if the driveway is beyond a certain limit. 20 feet uh, in width. This is not going to cut it. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the, the damage that you're going to do to the wetland, even in rehabbing this, I'm going to call it 12 foot, even though in some cases it's not, and then coming back and saying, ah, oh, we need a 20 foot because we can't get a building permit unless it's 20 feet. Uh, it's going to be um, totally ludicrous to me to try to put in. Um, might be a nice farm parcel, but to make a driveway that long with a 20 foot wide driveway through the wetlands uh, and the square footage that it's going to encompass is just uh, not going to cut it with me. If that's the case, uh, let Let's continue it for a uh, for until the next one, uh, and I'll check with the uh, the building inspector. In okay, I I, I <coughs> checked with that right. yesterday or today. And then, Actually, I checked with about three people, yes. and I get the same answer: twenty feet. Okay, and then for single family house. Single family house. Uh, we we did try to call Heidi today, but she's on vacation, I think, yeah. until the nineteenth, so we can get a hold of her. Okay. And we'll see if we, uh, you know, the only <laughs> alternative to that is to go get a variance from the ZBA then, on that case. Okay. Or not, so you school. wish to continue it? I wish to continue it. Okay. Does okay. that regulation apply to a single-family home or a subdivision? I no, was it's told a, it's a driveway. It's there, so a driveway is a single-family. Single, it's a it's a driveway. 
it would be a single family home. Uh, there, there are some interpretations on it, and uh, what we need to do is I'll, I'll look at it clarified through the, the building inspector. If he says we need to do that, then what we'll do is I'll go, we'll just continue that. What I'll do is go with the CBA and get a relief from the, the uh, ordinance. The, the biggest key is to get the past fire chief. The fire chief is the key because you need to uh, get the fire truck down there. Right. And that's the key. And if that's the case, you can bypass that by putting a sprinkler system in the house. By what? A sprinkler system. A sprinkler system. Okay. And that'll, that'll get you that. Okay. Uh, I have a couple questions on uh, uh, well water. Yes. Um, pools for electric? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm just, okay. Mm -hmm. That's going to infringe upon wetlands down the line. Just, you know, look, yeah, looking right at it. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of issues. Okay. So let let me uh, get it clarified through the uh, building inspector. Okay. If I have to go get a variance, if there's no use fighting the battle. If I, if yeah. That's, no. That's, that's correct. Okay. I move that we continue it till the next meeting. All set. Mm -hmm. yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay, thank you. Got rid of you guys. Ah, uh, you got rid of me. Look at the last time. <laughs> thank you. I could ask him a question if I could. Sure, go right ahead. No, this is about something else. We'll deal with this later. Okay. I want to find out about it. I know. But I want to find out the idiot. We have a hearing for a notice of intent request by Mr. Anton Roberts. When is this zoning meeting, Jim? On this property? Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. Okay. 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 All right. That's what I asked. That's what I'm asking. No. We tried to build a house up on Martin Street, right? I'm sorry, we're, we're moving on to the next order of business. I just asked you where your next zoning thing is. Good. Your next meeting. That's fine. Okay. Good morning, guys. Have a good night. Two lots are under construction now, but they didn't have any impact on the wetlands. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's one here and one here. They're, they're both under Mr. construction. Mr. Mr. But this is Williams here. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So this is the third one. So these two houses, the foundations are in. The first house is being framed now. This is just a foundation, and then this is the house we propose to build. And so it's a single-family dwelling. And it's similar to the other two houses. We kept the same setback. So the buffer zone doesn't affect this one? No. Falls off. No. 
No, there was no, like you can see from here, no filling, no nothing, even in the 100 foot buffer. So, but in this one, and sorry for that map, but then you all call it up, but the wetland line with regard to this piece of property is shown in green. The pink line is the 25 foot no touch line. The orange line, the next one further out, is the 50 foot no structure line. And the yellow line is the 100 foot buffer line. We are proposing some activity in the resource area buffer zone. The house itself is going to be in there, but I'm showing it out. The deck, the house, will be constructed outside of the 50 foot no structure zone. I put a pool and a shed in there. Whether they build it or not, at least it will be included in the notice of intent in case they want to pull one a permit in the next three years. Then they can do that. The septic system and the reserve area are completely out of the 100-foot buffer zone. There's a little corner of the overbay, but by Title V, that's not the, uh, within the buffer. The reserve area shown here, the septic tank itself is also completely out. It has to be 50 feet away, but in this case, the septic tank itself is completely out of the buffer. We are doing some filling. These perk tests were done by somebody else and we use their data to determine the water table elevations and that, that's what establishes the height of the septic system. So these houses, all three of these, are going to have the house with the filling and the septic system in the front and then walkouts in the back to maintain what's back there now. <laughs> the driveway is going to come down and be a drive under entrance garage below the house. And, uh, and that's it. I, I, like I said, I set it back the same distance, so they're all set back. And then I just pretty much remember it. That's what Tony wanted. So they're going to pretty much look like three houses as you come down Main Street. And you said someone else did the perks. Who was that? It was Bob. George A. Ub. I got his information. George A. Ub. A. Y. O. U. B. He's an engineer. This is it? Yeah, that's the reserve. This rectangle here which is the same I size. Yeah. So his perks are done here. He's got perk pipes through in the ground which is required by Diane. So he did the perks in you know, <coughs> September 2016. The wetland line that runs along this entire property when it was one piece was installed by a guy named Chris Capone. Doesn't work with us. He used to be on the Conservation Commission in Dartmouth for a long time, and now he's doing wetlands. I know he didn't submit for a report. He didn't, because he, he, he did that for the original owners of the property. Oh. That was, again, before our time. When we got retained by Tony, it was to create the 4 A lots, and then to do the septic was on us. But we did locate the flags. They're all visible, and we located with survey equipment, all based on the same control we used to establish the lots out there. So I think as far as what we're proposing, that sums up what we're proposing. We did get a file number from the state, and the state has no comments on what we're proposing to do. I don't know if you have the uh, information. I can give you the file number if you don't have it. Do you want that? Yeah, please. 17. Yep. Dash zero three one zero three nine one zero three zero nine eight nine one zero three yep. nine one. I've got it marked down. I okay. picked it up off one. Oh, okay. Seventeen zero three nine one. Yes. <coughs> okay, Charlie, you have a comment here. That's a pretty long wetland line, and uh, probably should be reviewed by somebody who's uh, not a conservation commissioner. Okay. Uh, I always yes. I only comment. I always look at that when you when you're exactly 100 feet away. It says as need need to review uh, anyway, and. Um, 
you know, I, I, I think that what your comment is is justified, Charlie, uh, to hire a consultant to um, review the wetland. I don't have a problem with that. I, I think it's the right thing to do. Uh, the only reason why he did that was because he wanted the house close to the central lodge we get. So in CAD, when I copied everything, I just slid it to make sure I wasn't touching that and I just I stayed out of it here. So it could have been shifted, but that's the only reason why it's close because I'm 19 feet away. I only need to be 10, so I can slide it another 9 feet. But he just wanted the house centered and then it's best to do the filling right in the front yard rather than to have the septic system in the fill all the side. It probably won't be uh, much to do, uh, much change anyway, if any. Yeah. But yeah. I still yeah. think it ought to be done. Right. So, yeah, we'd be fine with us. Okay, you want Jim, to Jack? No. Thank you, Jack. I'm sorry, I, I monopolized this to you. Thank you, Charlie and me. Okay. <laughs> account for a consultant review of the uh, wetland line on this uh, plan. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and you know that the, the funds have to come in for that. Yeah. How do you do that? You give an estimate first, you get a proposal, and then you can it. Yeah, we'll set up an account, uh, get an estimate okay. from the consultant of what the, the fee might be. Okay and uh, notify you. Okay. okay. And in the meantime, I'll make sure, since the slides are about a year old, I'll make sure that they're still there. Yeah. We've located with the survey equipment, so if they're already missing, I'll make sure I get them put back in before the consultant is out there. No, we need them with the information. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get a continuous. I move that we continue the meeting till August. Nine. Second. Four of the Aye. 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 I passed that map down. Yeah. yeah. I was right. <coughs> No, no. <coughs> that was that's what I took when Jim and I walked the uh, uh, right. the uh, uh, weed property. Uh, 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 I didn't know if you needed to read a public notice okay. at all, or, but uh, I'm uh, not willing to start. You, do you have the cards mm -hmm. for uh, Mr. Holmes? I mm -hmm. passed in the letter notification. Okay. I, I turned it over here. Okay. Good you evening. Are. Good evening, members of the commission. I'm Brad Holmes with Environmental Brad Consulting Holmes. and Restoration, along with Ed Jacobs, registered land surveyor for Jacobs Driscoll Engineering. It's been a little bit of time uh, since I've been in front of the commission, and I think the commission knows me because they remember the site, and here's the site, again. Yeah. 
Um, we have filed an ANRAD application to confirm the location of wetland resource areas on the, the property off of Somerset Avenue. The property um, is a large uh, piece of land, uh, as you know, off Somerset Ave, that uh, runs to the, to the south of Country Hill Drive. I have some 11 by 17s if anybody would like to look them. Uh, this, this plan is in your 11 by 17 as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a power line that runs through the property. There's a, an existing dwelling uh, in this red location here, and the remaining portions of the site are wooded. What we have done is we've delineated the eastern half of this parcel, and it, as shown here uh, in, the, in, in the vegetated wetland line. What we've done is we've located bordering vegetated wetlands, uh, isolated vegetated wetlands, certified vernal pools, and two additional potential vernal pools. So, so basically this is the same red delineation that was used previously except for the extra middle pool. Not really. Not really. This is a current delineation that I performed myself uh, over the month, uh, the last few months. Um, this is the same site, generally follows many of the same wetland lines, but it's it's a, it's a it's a fresh start. The wetland flags from before are not incorporated into this plan. This is a current delineation. So I actually set these flags uh, recently. This is a new. This is current and uh, inaccurate. Um, if you remember at the last go around of this, there was a little bit of mixing of delineations on that site. I ha I was involved in some of the delineations of the some isolated pieces, but there had already been an an ORAD in place that had been extended and it was very old and it was kind of coming along with the property with some modifications with the to it. The property owner had an ORAD. Correct. Yep. That, that information is not part of this, this application. As I said, this is a, this is a brand new ANRED delineation. Okay. All lands south of the red line would be wetlands. Am correct. I correct? So, yes. yes. Actually, the green line. The green line is the bordering vegetated wetland line or isolated vegetated wetland line. Okay. The first red line is the 25 foot buffer zone. This 100, this second outer red line is your 100 foot buffer zone to vegetated wetlands. And then you'll see the orange line. The orange line is the 100 foot distance from either certified vernal pools or potential vernal pools. We have, as I, as I mentioned, we've located two additional potential vernal pools because your bylaw protects potential and certified vernal pools. Okay. Um, be aware that our bylaw states that the vernal pool is 100 foot <coughs> beyond the high water mark and our protection goes an additional 100 feet beyond that. Okay, what we, Just what we right, we'll, okay. I'm, a, I'm schooled in your bylaw Okay. from um, working with you in the past. Um, what we have done is, you'll see these blue lines here, those are the delineated uh, limits of the potential vernal pools and certified vernal pools because as you know, the vernal pool isn't the same as the vegetated wetland line. It's a, it's, it's the pooled body of water. Right. So those those bodies have been located, and then the 100 foot buffer zone, uh, the, I'm sorry, the 100 foot resource area to that vernal pool is located here in Orange. So as you remember this portion of the site fairly well, this delineation is probably along the same general lines, a little bit expanded than what was than you've seen in the, on plans in the past. Um, this portion of the site beyond the transmission line is is new to you as far as uh, well, that was the delineation. Part, uh, that wasn't that wasn't part of the original. Well, it was part of the original filing. It was drawn from the plan, and but we never considered it. It was Withd it was it was table. withdrawn. It, it it was withdrawn before my involvement, at least. Okay. Um, but it was withdrawn after the initial filing when we said that what he wanted to do up front and we didn't want him to do it, we said to put it in the back, mm -hmm. then, well, then, he, then it was altered, a plan. Well, that's, that's ancient history now. Right. Okay. 
Um, let's see. I got to get your name. I know. Uh, um, no. No. You mean on the Bisher hash? Okay. We talked on the phone, I think. You touched me on the phone. Right. Hash. And we emailed. Right. Okay, my, can I speak? Yes. My, my name is Bisher Hashim from Downwind Realty. Uh, like we made a deal last time, all history is history. Yep. Yeah. We're starting a new line. Oh, I know. Oh, um, I know. So um, let's let's scrutinize this this line if we may. And I'm saying okay. we're, well, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Appreciate but I'm just saying we never really saw that back part because of sure. that intervention. Sure. That's all I'm saying. All right. I was meeting again. I was just trying to familiarize yep. myself with the area and my you know my my dealings with it. But as I said, we're, what we're doing is starting new. There's a current accurate delineation of vegetative wetlands, isolated mm -hmm. and bordering, as well as the, the vernal pools. Well, it's pretty obvious that running that delineation is going to require a uh, a consultant and a 53G. Mm -hmm. There's no way. Uh, uh, we could handle anything like that. We were hoping so. you'd take our word for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it will probably be somebody you're familiar with. I expected that. Yes. <laughs> I, so as far as your pro normal practices for 53G, do you send out one quote? Do you send out a few quotes? How do you normally uh, do you Normally we, we work with uh, uh, with models. Okay. We haven't found much difference between uh, consultants. Some are a little higher, some are a little lower, but we have a pretty good relationship. And uh, I just think we should consider with that. I'm not. I'm not in opposition to that. I just. I just was asking what your practice is for. No. And we'll submit uh, a full size plan or one of these to Marty uh, to get an estimate, and we'll notify you uh, of uh, the estimate or. Yeah. One or the other, and then we'll move on from there. Fair enough? Yeah, that's what we expected, yes. Okay. Very fair. So, what we're going to do? I make a motion that we, we each have a 53 key account, hire a consultant to review this uh, extensive wetland line and the isolated wetlands and the available pools. Uh, and continue the reading. Pardon? And continue the reading. Well, why don't we do one at a time? Okay, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Okay. No, you can. Okay. I, I, I move that we continue the hearing uh, to a future date, uh, August 9th. And hopefully everything will be done by then. Hopefully. Godspeed to Nova Armstrong. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Take a hold on that. I made the motion. Did you? Did. Oh. So we would continue the hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Continue the hearing. Yeah. Okay. Somebody second it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And you know we're going to not we're not treating you like that. Just be Please. just no, no, just be aware that, that you know that because that was new. Uh, uh, I just made a comment on that. That's, that's all it was. And uh, you're not in the same ballpark. I'm going to keep it using a magnifying glass and see it. David DeRosa asked to be placed on the agenda tonight. You sit right there. You're on the agenda. Yes, sir. Okay. I got your call very late. Too late to call you back. Yep. Not a problem. <clears throat> what do you so, need to tell us, David? So David DeRoe, I just want to give you guys an update as far as uh, why I wasn't at the last meeting. We had to get uh, some of the lands delineated, and um, we had to get, uh, in order for the delineation to take place, in order for the delineation and everything to take place, and for me to get. Um, 
uh, retained with an engineer. I had to get the, the what lands those needed. I've been talking to Mr. Mello. I've been kind of letting him know what the process has been, you know, right along. The most of the land, the land has been deline delineated. We're just getting. Um, Who is doing the delineation? Delineation has already been done by Brandon Fanner. Brandon Fanner. Okay. And we're right. trying to we're trying to knock down a date in which uh, Mr. Barabee can get out there and, and do the. I'm hoping to have everything done before the. I believe it's twelve. Um, August ninth. August. Okay, the ninth. August ninth is what I'm trying to get everything done before. So that's where we are. Okay. So so well they, they know what to do as far as filing with us. That's correct. And uh, uh, getting uh, everything in order for you. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Who's going to be engineering it? Uh, as far uh, Barabee has the retainer. If he can't get it done within the time frame, I've got to try to find somebody else. But he's, you know, he has he's been retained. So, and um, the selectmen have a copy of that because there was concerns whether or not he was or was not retained by some individuals. So we made sure that uh, I got a receipt of that. And, Sent it up to whoever it needs to be. So the selectmen have a copy of that if you need that. Okay. I don't have any other any any questions then since you're no. you are uh, going in the right step. Right. Right direction, finally. Absolutely. You got it. Okay. And Jack? Yeah, no, that's fine. So, uh, so I will be here for the next meeting on the night. Uh, yeah. okay. Even if, for whatever reason, I mean, I'll still try to keep in, in contact with Charlie. Okay. Just to let him know uh, what the progress is. But I'll, I'll be here for the next meeting as well. Hopefully by then we'll have everything on his plan. And okay. All right. All right. All right. Very good. good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good night. Good night. Thank you. You as well. Titan Homes, LLC. Titan. Isn't that you? COC? Yeah. Yeah. Not yet, but you can move up front. There are three that need to get some better extensions for a for the tent. Every second page. Hey, Ben. Extension request. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My answer question is Al Zamoral, 2520 Pleasant Street. No, uh, well, Charlie visited the site. Charlie? Oh. You want to talk? Seven. Number seven. The next one? Yeah, it's... It's uh, Charles Amberall. Uh, certificate of request for a certificate of a cup wine. You have visited the site? I visited the site. That pier is there. It's all over the rocks. Okay, you got to make a motion then? Oh, you're going to sign it, sure. You're going to make a motion? You sign the request for a certificate. Okay, I'll second it. 
All in favor? Aye. Okay, that's done. Now when do you get another certificate of play? How many things have you? Yeah, one or two. How many things have you? One or two. Yeah, one or two. <coughs> Another request. We'll make a motion. We have a certificate of compliance request from Kimnell Restoration for 229. You have visited the site. Yeah. Visited the site. Yeah. Christine is good there. Yeah, I've been up there too, and uh, everything is in good condition. I'll second the motion. All in favor. Sign an enforcement order issued to Anton Rodericks this afternoon for altering the wetland resource area or buffer zone on lot 14, map 4, 19 Main Street. Okay, Charlie, you uh, did the issuing. Could you inform us what the. Uh, uh, Maybe Tony has a comment. Okay, I have to say it right on the enforcement order. Okay, that would be fine. And then the. Uh, Agenda. <coughs> uh, I met with uh, Tony on uh, June 27th, and we agreed to, uh, that he would be filling the uh, lot. And today we got a telephone call, and the lot was being filled. So I made an enforcement order and issued it to him. So he went ahead and did the work uh, after you had already well, spoken to him? Well, there's circumstances here. He has been assured that uh, he has an agricultural exemption for that lot. Uh, not for filling thanks. wetlands. It's not, it's not, there's no exemption for filling. Well, we talked with uh, an engineer and the Farm Bureau, and they both seem to think that uh, it should be exempt. I don't agree, but uh, that's the reason that he filled, started filling the lot again. For what purpose? Uh, he wants to make a uh, hay field, or farm, or yeah. plants, or whatever. Whatever, you know, it's conducive to it. There was, there was one before, and they tell me you can fill, uh, both the engineer and farm bureau told me you can fill right in up to even a 25 foot no touch zone under oh. agriculture. I can renew that field back to where it's original condition. Um, I'm a member of the Farm Bureau since 1999. I have uh, in excess of 20 acres under cultivation. So I conformed with all that. And they're telling how many, me. How many acres up there, Tony? You're talking the, the, the way. On that particular parcel? Yeah. On that particular parcel? Uh, where you're filling? Two acres. Uh, approximately, that I'm filling? Yeah. Ah, maybe half an acre. The problem is, I didn't realize there was a problem. When he first started filling the lot, I mean, I could see the filling, but it never occurred to me. I didn't bother checking the plan that he, wetland uh, line that he issued for parcel three. Uh, the wetland extends pretty close to that 
building that he's working with right now. And it's definitely within a buffer zone. And it could be uh, uh, wet metal, who knows. But it's a resource area on the Wetland Act and the Rob Bylaw. Uh, whether he has an exemption, I don't know. It seems to me, my recollection of agricultural exemptions, that the parcel had to be under agriculture for X number of years, current, currently under, not recently. So not that's what I base the enforcement order on, and as far as I, uh, I'm going to stick right by it until I'm proven uh, wrong. That was my understanding was that it had to. <coughs> I don't know how the Home Bureau or the agricultural people that the they agricultural would be under agriculture, not uh, used to be. Not, not proposed. Because that's, that's what I want to pull. Can I get it put on the agenda so we can you know, get some more information about Can you what? Can I get, get put on next month's agenda? Sure. sure. I, I, I so think. I have no sense of sitting here arguing about it so we can. Well, we're, we're, I don't know if it's arguing or dis a discussion, yeah, discussion but, uh, what do you want to call uh, but as, as far as, you know, or, or maybe even delineating the wetland to, to see where it actually is, if it's uh, a the wetland. Well, hmm? The delineation that he submitted for lot three covers that lot as well. Okay. It's okay. the same delineation all the way through. It starts at the okay. third point. So, so then um, Marty then should, uh, uh, he's, he's going to open for 53 a G for the house for, to, to do that wetland, right? Yeah. So why not have her just go right down and uh, um, I, in, uh, into, into, into that lot and... Can we, uh, can we address it separately? Well, uh, yeah, I, it, would be, it, it I, would be addressed separately, but if she's going to be there, just let her... Yeah, I, want, I want to have the estimate be a consultant on lot three. Okay. It's only 175 feet wide, and I want an estimate. Yeah. Okay, so I can get money into this 53G account. When I come back next month, if she has to come back and I have to spend more money, it's fine. Okay. But I'm assured by a couple of, you know, people that are supposed to know what they're talking about, about farming in the wetlands. Uh, if I can get on next month's agenda, we'll address it then, and then if you still feel that the wetland line has to be uh, delineated, okay. we'll do that. When was it last to farm? Uh, uh, I, I kind of, I'd be lying there. I'd say probably 25, 30 years ago. Okay. At least they came out, the Farm Bureau came out and looked at it, and they said that definitely <laughs> was under agriculture at one time. At one time. Yeah, at one and, time. I mean, okay. they, and they told me, because I had a problem with the town, dumping water into it off of a drain. So we, we found the problem, we corrected the problem with the town. And now I'm trying to bring the field back to where it originally was back then. And they told me when they came out and viewed it that I was legal and even I could do everything right up until the 25 foot. Without and filing any notice of intent, any uh, RDAs, any of that. That's what they're telling me. Okay. Now, my engineer tells me the same thing. <coughs> he ran into this problem before in Swansea. Okay. Um, if we go ahead and sign this, it's and we find otherwise, it's just going to be removed. That's all. That, 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 that I, I understand what you're doing. You know what I mean? I have um, no problem with that. I just yeah. want to get on next month's agenda. Okay. So this lot can be addressed separate from lot three. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, without a doubt. If you're going to have a consultant come in, if you're going to have a consultant things. come in, I want the consultant to give me her estimate on lot three, which three. is going to be 175 feet of delineation of that wetland. And well, you know what? What? What would have her do is then next come month, the same time when she does the other lot on Somerset Avenue, which would be uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be too drive down. Tony's well, whatever it takes. You know what I mean? If it yeah. costs me more money, I'll, I'll pay the money. Where is Tony's pulver? Uh, Tony doesn't have a pulver. Should be right there. Probably the uh, fourth one down, or two down. Oh, no, that's I, the I, other. I, I'm well aware of what the wetland line is.
Here's the. It would stop at flag 25. Would that flag be stop at? Yeah. No, no, it wouldn't. Oh, no. It would start here. Right. It would start here at 15. 15 okay. to 25. 15 to 25. 15 yeah, to 25. 25. That's lot three, right? Yeah. It's okay. No problem with that. But if I have to spend the money on lot four, I'll spend the money. But if I don't, I don't want it. That. And what's your proposal for the uh, for this lot? Which one's that? Yeah. So this is the wetland line that the lot four you're talking about. Hmm? Lot four. Lot four. Lot three. Yeah. three or no. four. No, three is he's building on. That's what we're going That's to do. The I already marked the that delineation. Down. Fifteen to twenty-five. Four. Four is where you're filling, right? Yes. That's the enforcement mark. Enforcement mark is on four. And what's what's over here? Nothing. A Nothing. Road. A road. Okay. Yeah, this is William Street. Okay. All right. There's a bond there. Okay. So next month we'll come back in and we'll we'll work on lot four. Okay. If you put me on that agenda. Separate estimate for yes. Twenty-five to thirty-four. At that time that you people told me I have to. Well, I, the enforcement well, order says you have to. You have well, to either remove the stuff. The, the enforcement order. Well, we unless, can do is, unless you can bring in proof that's what we're, that we're, we're going to bring in. Talk order. to Marty as well, though. When you call her on lot three, pick her brain for lot uh, about agriculture exemption. Twenty-five years. Well, ago. We either we issue an enforcement order time or we don't. I issued one. Okay. It needs to be ratified. If you don't want to ratify it, no, no. you want to wait a month, that's fine with no, me. No, no, I think we should ratify it, and and then if something is different, we can release him next month. Well, he's going to have to hire somebody to prove that right. what we're requesting, as far as I, I'm concerned, it's a violation of the Wetland Act and of eyeball. Uh The 25-foot doesn't apply because already the bond is in the existing... The it's pretty, that, foot. that whole lot's pre-existing, non-conforming. Yeah. I mean, there's no two ways about it. But this wetland line comes right up to the back of the barn. I don't know what the scale is, but uh, I could see the flags this afternoon and the piles were damn close to it. Uh, yeah, they told me I can, I can work in the 25-foot no-touch zone. So they told me I could go right up to that. 40 feet, maybe. I mean, I've, the I've been told that by the engineer. I've been told that by uh, uh, Farm Bureau. Yeah, but... Somebody's got to tell us that. Yeah, okay, that's not a problem. That's why I want to get on next month's agenda, and we'll okay. come back and we'll... Uh, okay, we can do that. Okay, we, you know, can, we, can, we can do until that. Until then, I don't think I want to spend any money uh, until I'm told I have to, at that well, time. Well, if we issue this and then just know he's not going to do it until next month, that it's just going to be delayed as well, far as... I don't care. That's okay. I didn't put a time frame on no. the uh, enforcement order anyway. Okay. So that, that, that would work then. That would work. So we'll see you next month. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, and I'll, I'll come uh, back and okay. We'll, we'll uh, discuss. No, no more filling until. Uh, well, this is let's, let's let's you make the motion for the enforcement order, and then we'll I make a motion that we ratify the enforcement order that I issued this afternoon. I'll second it. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. So that, that means officially you're not. Uh, uh, okay. But next week, uh, next month. If you have proof, and we're going to be search, researching it too, yeah. uh, um, because uh, you know, I, I look at it as 25 years ago. It's, that's no longer farmland. You can bring it back. What the mess? Well, uh, but the, Mass Farm Bureau uh, says you can. My engineer says you can. And it's, it's, it's no doubt and no question, and everybody in this town will tell you who knows anything about agriculture, but that was a farm bureau. That was Cameron. Yes. I'm always Cameron raised, raised uh, uh, celery in that field for years, they call it. Years. Celery? Celery in that field. It didn't rot? I don't know. I'm not a farmer. <laughs> my celery's rotting in my garden. <laughs> I got 16 acres of farmland, so I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Sounds good to me.
Okay. You don't qualify. You don't have 20. You have 20 on the, on the cultivation. That's what else are we doing? Okay, we'll okay. see you next month. All right. And the 53 G account's going to be for lot three. Lot three only. Lot from three num only. from numbers 15 to 25. That's, that is, yeah. That's lot three. Yeah. They've all been, uh, you know, Troll Line went out there and did them all at the time that they were uh, He's got them all logged in. Okay, yeah. well, uh, if they're all accurate, you're yes, good, you'll be good to go. Yes. And I'll be back next month when we uh, okay. the other, all right? Yep. Okay, Tony. Hey, thank you. did an RDA, and then we had moved the limit of work back. I submitted a revised plan. Remember that? It's going back a couple of months. Um, with a stone wall. It's one of the, yep. one of the lots on the left, the left side going in. We had pushed the, uh, yep. the line back, and, and um, you had said that you would get me a letter or something like that saying you were in receipt of the plan. I don't recall. What's that? You said an RDA? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. This was a lot that we already had an RDA negative determination on. But they had made some plan revisions to the backyard. Um, I, I can get you the information. But I was just wondering. I got an email from him today, wanting to know, you know, the status of the letter. So I was coming. I had to come in to see Ross tonight, anyways. You know, I had the COC, so I figured yeah, I'd stand going while I was here. But I know we discussed it. We discussed yeah, it. I, I remember. And uh, exactly what yeah, I gave was approval like, because of the the land was actually going up, and any wetlands yeah, were he, he was, way beyond. He was moving a limit of work back, but. It was not even in the watershed of the wetland. So there's a, there's a mound, if I'm not mistaken, there's a mound there, and, and there's, the wall there's some the wetlands the, on the other side, but yeah. on a different, on a different, um, in a different watershed. Watershed. Yeah. No, that's all. I was just asking. I was hanging around okay. asking about that, but I, I, can, I can. What I can do, Charlie, tomorrow I can email you the information on it to okay. refresh your memory. What I it was, because uh, I. I it was one of the meetings I was at in the last month or the month before, and I submitted the revised plan at the meeting. And he had just contacted me today looking well, no, for I, I, I any correspondence, so that's all right. I'll, uh, it's I'll follow up the tomorrow. cracks. That's all right. That happens. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. Okay. okay. Charlie, where's the copies that the uh, Division of Fish and Marine made up? Made up for us. It says we've got copies here somewhere. But Say it again, Bill. It wasn't the back of the thing. Okay. We gave them approval to do that. Yeah. To, to go yeah, ahead. But they were supposed to send us a map showing us what they were doing. Oh. And how? Um, well, this here is not is not requesting our approval. It's just telling us yeah. that they're doing it. Yeah. Oh, I see what it says. Copies made for members' review and comments. Yeah. Oh, here it. Wait a minute. It's not in there. No, it's just a letter. All right. Yeah. It's attached to your uh, packet. It's only letters. It's only a letter. In the back. Last, last page. But it's not. It's not. This, it was sent to us. But there's no map or anything. No. It didn't come with a map. It's the uh, dam behind I know. I know what it is, yeah. I don't need an app to find that. What do you got? What do you, what do you got? All, the, all they said is that no siltation sort of type of work can occur between oh. whatever the date is. We got oh. March 15th and June 30th. To June 30th. Right. That's, what, that's all it says. They probably sent the same thing to uh, whoever uh, building the fish ladder. But they, are, but they also, they have approval from us. Even though it's in Taunton, they wanted a, remember, we, remember yeah. I typed it up and I, and yeah. I forwarded the letter. Well, this doesn't um, deal with the uh, ladder at all. Just the work, okay. when it can be done. It's just limiting the work. So it's so. just an informative letter. Yeah. Okay. 
and this needs to be signed for payment. Both pages, please. Okay, I move that we uh, pay MAC dues in the amount of 275. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, I have um, a request. Uh, as you know that I've been active on the on the chestnut no, trees, yeah. on okay. and um, Money I, do. I had signs made up um, that uh, Tom is going to be installing uh, out here on uh, on town property uh, of the American Chestnut uh, Restoration Program, and uh, I am requesting reimbursement from the commission for um, signature. First page. First page, he wants a signature over here. Um, I get the same for um, I, I'm requesting re reimbursement for the uh, for the signs. You sign that, Bob. You're going to sign the front page. Shall I start over again? <laughs> yeah. We'll get this out of the way first. Okay. Thank you. Well, I, I saw him sign and hand it back. That's why I started. Well, that. I signed it where it said sign. Okay. Um, oh. I had signs made up, uh, designated the uh, the American Chestnut Restoration Program for over here, or around the um, parking lot, and over by the the um, uh, next lot uh, to the south. Uh, I had three signs made up, and Tom is going to be installing them in the appropriate areas for the community to see that the Conservation Commission uh, is involved in the uh, furthering of the uh, restoration of the American chestnut. And uh, um, here's, here's my receipt here that I, that I paid. I'm requesting reimbursement if it's in your... Uh, how do we do that? Tell me. Charlie? What? How do we do that? How do we do what? You pay him the money he, he spent on the signs. They just, you just vote on it, make a motion and vote. Yeah, but then where's the money come from? Comes out of our account. Yeah. Which one account? We got two accounts, three accounts. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure which account. I have to check that out. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can spend the 45 bucks and turn in a check. That solves the problem. That, 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 what? That, what? He could turn in a petty cash flow. If we approve the sign, okay. he can pay for the sign. I did already. Oh, well, you did already. I did already. If we will approve the payment. You turn in a $45 or a, a petty cash flow and you get paid directly from the town. That's good. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you well, know, I'll make a motion to approve the payment of that forty-five dollar uh, signs, uh, and then I'm we need to uh, put a pay the cash flow. You second that, Jim? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 You get your forty-five bucks. Okay. All right. What uh, now? You say a petty cash slip? Yeah. You sign the form. They have petty cash forms at the treasurer's office. Okay. I'm not treasures. Uh, I found a copy. Okay, but you have to do the minutes first, right? And, yeah, and give it to them. We approved it. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. All right, so I'll have to wait a week or something to, to submit it. Well, you're not going to go to Puerto Rico next I'm week. I'm not going to go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> nor, nor St. Thomas. Uh, uh, Iceland, Iceland pretty uh, soon, though. Mm. Iceland's coming this way. Uh, if we're all done, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll, I'll second it. Oh, I'll, I'll make the. I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Second. Okay. Eight thirty-five, Charlie. Jim, can you explain it to them guys in there again? You're the youngest. You're the guy that ought to be bouncing up and down. Oh, that's why we put them on again. Hey, Jim, uh, 